Hi, I'm Valerie Airy, and I'm going to be doing um, a watercolor pour using indigo. Um, which one is this? Yeah, I can't say that other word, but it's a maroon color. And lemon yellow. So I've got a few of my tools here. Paper towel, obviously. The brush to wet it with first. And um, this tray really isn't going to fit, but I do like keeping the color to use later. So I'll do my best to pour it into there. And this just dropper when I you know, want color specifically in one area. Gone ahead, obviously, and drawn this as well as um, put the first layer of masking on. All this yellow you see, most of it, the big sections, are going to be a sky or some sort of background. I'm assuming I'm going to use the, um, the maroon color with the indigo down here, whereas up here it's just going to be the indigo for the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this paper. Now you don't want to do it really heavy because it messes up the fibers on the paper. I don't stretch my paper so I can be a little tougher on it than other people, but still not too terribly tough. And you don't want to do the, um, you don't want to pour on super wet paper. So I'm just going to go back and take a lot of it off. I'll just take the water off the masking tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the yellow in my Carolyn's glasses. They were the perfect size, not for drinking out of, but for doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead Now these are mangoes, so although I'm not totally pouring, I'm getting the color down. So these are mangoes, as I was saying, and I'm already mad at myself for putting too much yellow on that top one. So that's going to be a bad girl, and take some of it out. It's not really being bad, it's your painting, you can do what you want with it. So obviously these leaves are going to be all varying colors of green. So it's probably easier for me just to do this. And that water off there, get that brush off there. Then I'm going to use the maroon. Now I know that the mangoes have more of this color up top here. I'm not saying I don't want it to bleed into the other areas, because I do. I mixed the three colors up, three primaries up, and I put 14 squirts of this in. Um, everyone's got their own magic formula. You can always add more water, but um, the important thing is to make sure you mix your paint up really, really well. Oh, already having puddling. My table is on a bit of a tilt. So I really want to make sure that these leaves get enough blue on them. 
I'm just going to go ahead and use my little dropper here. You're looking at this going, oh my god, what a mess. But you know what? It will be amazing when it's done. And the mangoes definitely have some green on them. Tired of using that. So I'm going to move this paint around a little bit. I'm going to use this to get the bulk of the paint off. Use that big arm across there. Just want to dry this up a little bit. Put it back down. I'm not in love with how this turned out. So I'm going to go back in. Some more yellow. need to mix up some more and a little bit of blue just tipping Going to put a bit more of this in. And then we definitely need some red. I'm going to take a little bit of this out. And add a little bit of red up here. I'm going to quickly make up some more yellow. I always use the same amount so I know that the 14 squirts from this works out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 16, 14. And yes, that is my dog barking outside. Beautiful spring day. And we live on the beach. So she's off having fun at the seashore. By just splashing it down like that, you get some pretty interesting colors and designs. But I don't like it when it's running the wrong way. And it'll pool and puddle over the um, over the areas that have a lot of masking on them. So 
I think that this just needs to dry now. All right. Thanks for watching. One more. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll be back with the rest of it. Thanks.